Hey guys, Cass here. Um, <clears throat> this video is going to be kind of long. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll take I, to get through all of the products I want to show you today. Um, this video is just basically all the stuff that I use for my hair. What I keep, I use to keep it vibrant. I mean, right now, especially in this light, it looks really dull and like not super red like it normally does. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you the hair products I use and the hair tools I use and all that fun stuff. So let's get started. Um, first of all, I don't have any with me, but the uh, the dyes I normally use vary depending on what I have access to, how red I really want my hair at the time, and um, and what kind of money I have. Now, the last dyes I used for my hair were the splat hair dyes. I had two boxes. I did not use the bleach. I just used the luscious raspberries over my faded red hair. And I came out with a really bright red. And I loved it because it wasn't a orange red. It was like, the, it was a red with blue undertones. You know, it just, it looked really good. Um, it's faded a lot since then, obviously. Um, I know I say um a lot, don't I? So I'm going to probably re-dye it soon. But it's still kind of got that, you can tell that it's red type thing. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, for hair dyes, I either use Manic Panic or Splat. Um, for the most part, I use Manic Panic. I vary everything, anything from like, I think the one I normally get is Vampire Red. Because that's a darker red, but it's, um, sorry, itchy nose. Um, but it's like, a, it's a really pretty red um, I don't normally bleach my hair, but I, I do sometimes use the dyes that involve peroxide, so it lightens while you're dyeing. I don't normally bleach, uh, pre-bleach it though, so yeah. Then again, I also have naturally blonde hair, so it tends to cling to it better, so. Okay, first of all, washing my hair. So when you wash your hair, you want to wash it in... The coldest water that you can stand because not only is that healthier for your hair, it also, um, it doesn't fade as badly if you're dyeing it and it, um, also helps seal the cuticle and it keeps your hair a lot shinier and a lot smoother. Uh, for shampoos, I use the, um, L'Oreal Vive Pro Color Vive High Gloss shampoo and conditioner. I just bought these and um, so far they're doing good for my hair. Uh, they keep, they seem to be adding a bit more moisture into it which I like and it's not fading as fast as it was before. Um, for a while I was using just a regular shampoo and conditioner, not a colored one uh, or not a color protection one so my hair was fading faster. Uh, normally um, before I started using the regular one, my hair looks uneven. I don't know why. Um, but normally I would be using, I think it was the Garnier Fructis color protection one. I don't remember the name of it. If you guys can see my doggy in the background. See? Sorry. I just noticed he moved. Um, but yeah, normally I use, I like using a color protecting one. I also have another one in the bathroom that I forgot to grab. That is a color depositing one. It's a red color depositing shampoo. It works fairly well, I guess, for the price. It only cost me, I think, ten dollars. Um, it's the, I think it's like War Colors. It's a Hot Topic brand um, hair. Um, what's it called? A color depositing shampoo. Sorry, spacing out here. Um, but yeah, that's what I use as far as shampoos and stuff. Um, I have two other conditioners that I use here. Uh, the first is this UV Color Shield, uh, by P8. Oh, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. Um, this works fairly well. Um, I use this every few, um, every few washes. Um, I'll use my regular conditioner, then I'll use this as well. Um, uh, let me go back to these. These, I think, were probably about $5 each. 
I don't remember. I have to look at their receipt. I bought them, I think, um, exactly a week ago. And I've used them twice and so far they're good. But I think they cost me like $5 each. So none of the stuff I use is really expensive. Um, and this, this I got at, the, at Dollar Tree. Um, and I was amazed on how well and how nice and soft it keeps my hair. And it doesn't make my hair look oily at all. So uh, that's really a plus for me. Um, I think I, yeah, I either got this at Dollar Tree or in the 99 cent store. I don't remember which. Because I bought them near my uncle's house and he has two that are like right next to each other. So I don't remember which, but um, it was one of those and so this was only a dollar. Um, other conditioner wise, deep conditioner wise, um, I just bought this, but I used it a couple days ago and oh my god, did my hair feels so, my hair feels so much better than it did before. It doesn't feel as dry as damaged because as I said, I dye my hair, I use a curling iron, I use my blow dryer, I use my flat iron. Uh, so I thought it'd be good to get a deep conditioner, so I got the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle, the deep conditioner. Okay, and not only does this work really, really well, but um, and I know you can take this part off too if you want, but I prefer unscrewing it, so. But oh my god, does it smell so good. It, it kind of like, I, I want to say it smells like coconut, but yeah, it just smells so good. <laughs> um... And this, this I want to say was, I got this on sale, so it was only $3. I think normally it's like 5 But yeah, I've used this once and already my hair feels really good. Um, what I do, it says to um, comb it through your hair and leave it in for 3 minutes. What I like to do is um, I end up putting this in. I put a... a um, a shower cap on, um, a, I use disposable ones. Uh, this I got, I do believe I got this at the dollar store as well and it came with I think eight, yeah eight caps and like different colors and whatnot. So I just take one of these and I, I comb this through my hair and I um, put the cap on and then I leave it on for somewhere, anywhere between um, 10 to, I want to say somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes. And it works really well and my hair feels so soft and so silky and it looked, it looks shinier without looking oily, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, this really good if you dye your hair, if you straighten it, um, curl it, use a blow, any kind of heating tools, this is a good product you really want to invest, invest in. Um, okay, on to my other hair products. Okay, first of all, let's start with the blow dryer. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It just says Salon Series on it, and I got it from my uncle, so it doesn't have, like, a warm, hot. It just has, um, high, off, and low. Um an 1875 watt it has the cool shot button which is nice um i kind of like my other one um but that's at home still but the nice thing about this one is it's a bit smaller and it's easier to take places so yeah this i use this one it's not like a major brand obviously it's just one of those drugstore brands but it gets it gets the job done um now of course with that i use several different heat protectants, um, especially if I'm straightening my hair, I will use these two, or if I just want to blow out and I don't want to worry if it's like, I, I don't even care if it's wavy or not, but I like these because they keep my hair soft, or these Beyond the Zone, um, formula, pro formulas, um, this one is Straight Shot, Kill the Kink, um, you pretty much, your um, it's just this little gel. Um, I don't really want to show it to you guys. But it's like... It's just this like, little gel consistency. Put that back in there so it doesn't get all over me. Um, while this one is a more... 
serum like you put them in you put them in your hair um right before you blow dry it you comb them through your hair and it helps it helps protect against the heat and it also kind of smooths it out a bit it makes your hair feel much softer when you're done um this one is smooth criminal while this one is straight shot um this one's a blow up bomb while this is a straightening bomb so they're pretty much the same thing um, but one is like a more of a jelloey or jelly substance. Well, this is more of a serum. Um, these I both got from Sally's. I think they were like eight dollars each. I don't remember. Oh, well, this one was six seventy nine, and this one doesn't have a sticker on it anymore. So I'm gonna say it was probably about eight dollars. Um, the other thing I use, the other couple things I use, um, are these two right here. Um, it, which is Guardian Angel, uh, they got to be Guardian Angel, and there was actually two that came with the set. Um, one is a straightening, um, it's a flat iron balm, you pretty much, you spritz it on your hair, and it helps, it's a heat protectant, and as is this, this is a gloss finish blowout lotion. Um, once again, you spritz this on your hair while it's still, like, damp, and then you blow dry it. So, these came in a pack and I've had these for so long now not so long I've had them for a couple years now um and I don't remember how much they cost I want to say they probably cost about 10 to 15 dollars um you'll see look at the little packaging part is peeling right here but yeah um so yeah then another thing I use, whether I'm blow drying it or straightening it, I use um, Gar this Garnier for Keys Sleek and Shine. This is my second bottle of this. I've used it before and I really like it. Um, it's an anti-humidity smoothing milk. And it just it looks like this little white stuff. Let me see if I can... No, oh, that sounds wrong. Um... It's like, I don't know, it's this white, creamy looking liquid that I almost got on the keyboard. Well, okay, but yeah, it smells really good too. I love the smell of most of my hair products smell really good. Um, but I want to say this was probably like $7, 7 or $8 at CVS, so. Um, and you put that on either before you flat iron it, um, or before you blow dry it. It's up to you. It's, it just really helps straighten it more and it, it's really I like it um another product I want to say okay this next let, let me show you my flat iron since I just showed you the stuff I use for my flat iron um this is my flat iron it's a Conair I think it's half an inch I'm not quite sure I'm bad at measurements but it has a um a dial on the side and the dial goes all the way up to 25 which I normally keep it at because that's the hottest it gets and then it has a um, an on button right here this little red one where the red light is you turn it on and the red light starts flashing till it's he heated up and then it has a turbo button pretty much makes it even hotter so yeah I really love my flat iron <laughs> I, I don't use it all that often though anymore because recently I've been curling my hair. Um, so, yeah, hold on. Just need to check something. Okay, anyways. Um, so then I move on to my curling, which is another Conair product. And this is my curling iron. It is a one. Oh, hold on. I need to fix something. This is crazy. So this is my curling iron. It is indeed a Conair. It goes up to, I want to say 30. The little dial goes up to 30, which I normally keep it on because I like my heat tools on the hottest setting. It normally, it really, I don't want to say it helps my hair because it fries my hair, but um, it helps, it gives it a better curl, I find. Um, and it just has its on and off button right here. And it has its clamp, it's not clampless. But I think my favorite thing about this product is if you have if you don't have like a marble counter like I do, um, I just recently have uh, got that marble counter by the way. 
Um, but if you had like what I did before, which was like, um, well, I don't want to say plastic. And it's not ceramic, but it was like, it was a weird like material. But if you have like a wood counter or anything like that, you don't want your heat tools touching it. Uh, this comes with a little protector. And it is so nice. It, you just slide it over and you can put it on the table and it won't cut and it won't burn your thing and that's really nice so i love my curl iron and i've been using it a lot lately to curl my hair because i've been into curling my hair a lot um and with the curling of my hair comes my next two products um if i'm curling it with my curling iron i normally use this hairspray it's neutrogena neutrogena hairspray for permed or color treated hair I don't think this is made anymore. I mean, it's still good, but it's, my aunt gave it to me because the company she works for used to mass produce this stuff. Um, but I don't think they make it anymore. However, I have like, I want to say I had like eight or nine bottles of it. And I, it, okay. The one thing about this is it smells very strongly of alcohol and it's just, it smells gross and you don't want to get it in your mouth. But other than that, this stuff really helps keep curls in. It really helps keep your hairstyle in, whatever you, whatever that hairstyle may be. Looks like this, it says, yeah, intense hold. But yeah, I like using this. And now if I'm not going to use my curling iron, or if I'm going to just, I just want it to wave, um, I end up using my Curl Construct Mousse by Gagne Fupti Style. Um, and this is extra strong. I really like this stuff because my hair is naturally wavy. If you can tell, I tried straightening it, but that was yesterday and now my hair is all kind of wavy, starting to wave again. Um, but what I'll do is if it, when it's still damp, I'll take this and I'll put a tiny bit in my palm, rub it together, scrunch up my hair, and then my hair turns out in these really pretty kind of curl waves and it looks really pretty. Now I can use that with a blow dryer or I can just let it dry naturally. Either way, I, I find it, it looks better when I let it dry naturally. So, But yeah, this works really well. I got this from CVS as No, I got this from Walmart. And I think this cost me... I want to say about... Um, $8 maybe? 7 or $8? I don't remember. It was like right before vacation. So... Um, and then, of course, the finishing touch for pretty much any style I use. I like using my Brilliantine Glossing Spray. And it's just, a, you just kind of like spritz it on your hair. Oof. Smells pretty, though. <laughs> and then it just kind of gives your hair this healthy looking shine. Ugh, got in my mouth. Although my bangs look kind of gross right now because for some reason they look a bit oily. But it just gives it this really healthy looking shine. And I like running it through my hair with my fingers. Um, which just made my hair really messy. Um, but it kind of gives it a really healthy shine and it makes it feel so soft. I I'm really obsessed with my hair feeling soft. I like my hair to feel healthy. Even if it isn't necessarily healthy because of all the dyeing and all the stuff I do with my hair. But yeah. Um, and then... Of course, I have my, my bobby pins, and I have more hair ties lying around somewhere. And I have my brushes, the brushes I use, I have a round brush and a, a paddle brush, and you can see they're kind of red, my, I have to clean them out. Um, ah! I dropped my round brush, but my round brush is from Forever 21, from their Love and Beauty line, and this is just a goodie paddle brush, and I think these, that one was like, four dollars and I don't know how much this one this one was a gift to my sister but my sister didn't doesn't use these kind of brushes so she ended up giving it to me they, she doesn't like how they go through her hair because she has really thick really just really thick really kind of poofy hair so she was like yeah I don't use this so you can have it which is good because it's my favorite kind of brush um okay and the last product I want to show you is um of course if you have dyed hair especially if you have red hair you cannot wash your hair every day as disgusting and as gross as it sounds um i'm not saying i don't take showers pretty much every day 
but I only wash my hair um, once or twice a week because otherwise my hair fades. Now that being said, I don't like my hair looking greasy or oily, so what do I, I, I use dry shampoo. And the one I've been using recently, I just got this last weekend, but so far I really like it. It's the dry shampoo by Got To Be Fantastic, I guess it's called. Um, it's fresh and full dry shampoo and pretty much you just, uh, I'm not going to demonstrate it, but you spray it on your hair, um, you work it into your roots, you let it sit for a minute so it absorbs all the oil, then you brush it all out. And I find it works really well and absorbs all the oil. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know this was a really long video, but I hope you guys liked it and if you have any questions, um, either comment or either send me a message or leave a comment below and I will talk to you all later. Bye!